Hello everybody. I'm going to do a walk around the engine test stand. I'm going to check out the Holly Terminator X and the EFI connection dyno wiring harness. Make sure there's no bugs before taking this to the engine dyno. All right, check this out. The Holly Terminator. We just got the wideband uh, adapter and Zach is just come over for a second because we want to watch it uh, for a few seconds to see if it's if the wideband's working. Well, you're good at getting it to idle. That, you could be quick long, but that's no giving it no throttle to start. I mean, we're pretty close to the deal. Yeah. Well, that's your percent enrich. Okay. Check out Airfield, that's cool. The coolant temp's only 42 degrees, that's a 30, probably a 38 degree cold start, no throttle. Oh, okay. That's a good look. It, it uh, warmed up already. Now, is there any calibration for that? Or is it for, what? Uh, for the wideband, that that uh, NTK? As far as like like a standard wideband, powered on air, powered yeah. on, no, not like a standard. Yeah. standard okay. Wideband. No, I, yeah. How come we didn't smell it before? I had race gas in there. I don't think it ran long enough. Man. You had that exhaust was probably last week on the pump gas pump. Yeah. Well, these are really nice. I gotta get me a, a set of these. Oh, and you know these are not the truck coils. <laughs> oh I, yeah, the truck ones are like the D585 like that. Yeah, I, I thought they were, but they're not. Is that okay with your tube? Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna. Uh, it's it's just, really yeah, it's just idling. <laughs> Man, you're gonna hurt yourself. <laughs> well, this is what an engine sounds like all engine, no exhaust. I figure I'd do a better job video. Take, oh, okay, oil here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, pretty good leak. On my oil, mechanical oil pressure. <laughs> up into the engine, the actual level is right here. That's probably like three quarts down at the bottom and two up top. Yeah, now it's doing some good loping. How's the uh, fuel pressure? Oh, yeah. Which right now, like I say, is sat was at static 48 at zero at atmospheric, oh. so it's just pouring out like vacuum. Now. Uh, right. So it was 48 for uh, at atmospheric. So this is only supposed to do like uh, 42. Uh, yeah, it was around that. So like right now, if I had to guess, it should be in the neighborhood of 41. It should be 47, 48, because we're around vacuum wise right now. I got you. Cause like stock, it's, it's still stock, and that'll go down to like 38. Right. Yep. So I think it's a little higher than. Plus you got to figure that fuel pump's a little higher output than yeah. stock. Yeah. So that's pumping more, yeah. So that is higher than it should. 
should be. But you got it tuned to that. It's on 40 amp. Yeah, what it did is turn itself off. Yeah. Voltage coming up here. Oh, yeah. But I mean, it's going to add it. But it's starting to come up now. Yeah. 4.12, 12, 12, 12, Oh, that's good. good. Yeah. So that'll be what we'll be doing at the dyno. Yeah. We'll put that on 40 amp. Yeah. That'll give us right where I was expecting to see that one. Well, no leak right here at your tie wrap pit. <laughs>